What's Going On Down There by Karen Gravel. Hi, I'm Jen Elledge. I'm a sexual health expert here to help you talk to your kids about sex and growing up. And I'm back here with another book review. And this one is one of my favorites. I've known about this book for years. This is actually the second edition. Um, and this, this edition is 2017. So it's a few years old still right now, but Puberty doesn't change a ton, to be honest, especially for boys. So let's take a look at this great book. Um, Karen Gravel, by the way, is the author of the period book. She, um, which is like the girl version of the, you know, the same thing, the puberty books. Okay. So let's take a look at what this has in it. Um, first of all, it's a very basic book. There's, let's see how many pages, 130 pages or so. So it's, it's an easy read. Okay. It's not very big or thick. The writing's kind of, um, you know, good size. There's, you know, kind of a lot of writing. Um, the illustrations are very basic. There's only two colors in the book. Um, but it was drawn by a cartoonist. So the illustrations are there and they do help with the, you know, some of the terms and just kind of for the, the tone of the book, um, some of the humor in it. Okay. So what this book is about is a puberty book. So it does start with puberty and all the body changes. So here's the table of contents. I'll read it out loud. Uh, it starts with your body and, and basically what's going to be changing about it this time. Okay. Um, and the second chapter's body changes, what they'll be. No body is perfect. Um, so kind of we'll talk about different body parts and, you know, different um, diversity in bodies, right? What's going on down there? So it'll be very specific about the anatomy and sperm and like those kinds of changes, what dreams will be talked about. Um, they do talk about girls as well. So there's a, a chapter on girls are changing too. There's a chapter on having sex. There's a chapter on sexual harassment, making and not making a baby, avoiding sexually transmitted diseases. Is this normal? Stress, stress pressures and weird emotions. What if questions? If I'd known then what I know now. So that's a really great section. I really like that section a lot. So, um, this is in, in my library. So I, I think this is a great book. Um, I'll be giving this to my son at some point. I mean, he's five right now. He's not ready for it just yet, but, um, let's take a look at some of the, the pages I bookmarked that I, I really enjoyed. Okay. Well, first of all, let's start in the beginning. Um, kind of the introduction. Okay. So if you're a boy somewhere between 10 and 14 years old, you probably don't need a book to tell you that your body is starting to change. Even if you haven't noticed much of a difference in yourself yet, ch chances are you've seen ch uh, changes occurring in some of your friends. So this is kind of the beginning of like, hey, puberty is happening and what's going on. Okay. So, and it's talking about your body and what it's doing is changing so you can reproduce someday, right? So it's talking about that. Um, it's going to go into some of the anatomy a little here. So here's a little drawing of the genitals and explains all the parts. Okay, and what's going on. It's going to talk about the penis and the scrotum and testicles and making sperm. Um, it also talks about circumcision. And it talks about like why people, um, you know, do or don't and, you know, some of the reasons for that and that's kind of good and how to wash, right? And uh, let's see, body changes, genital changes. So they're gonna be growing, um, hair, right? Moving along, um, talks about body hair, okay? So all the like basics about puberty are in here. And then um, I had a little piece also on um, body image, which I thought was nice because a lot of times we think about girls, but we, we forget our boys and they, they have body image issues as well. And we don't even talk to them as much as we do our girls, it seems. So I love that they added that to here and it, it talks about eating good stuff, avoiding sugar. Um, and also has a little bit on steroids. So I thought that was nice to touch about the dangers of that and, um, why that's not a good idea. Okay. What's going on down there? So it talked about like earlier about, you know, the anatomy, and then now we're getting into what's changing and about for reproduction. Okay. So it talks about erections in here and explains what's going on. Um, ejaculation. It'll talk about orgasms. It talks about wet dreams. 
masturbation. Girls are changing too, like I said. So there's uh, a lot here and it's, it's just a little, right? It's kind of like, it's just enough to get this conversation started and it touches on quite a few areas. I was kind of impressed at how much it touched on in 130 pages, very concise. Okay. So, um, the section, there's a section on, on having sex as well. So here's what it says. Okay. Most of the time having sex begins with two people just touching each other, kissing, holding, stroking, and caressing each other's faces and bodies. These things are pleasurable by themselves but they also help prepare the couple's bodies for having sex. Because of this, these activities are called foreplay. Uh, kissing and touching a woman's body in this way could cause a man to have an erection, which helps him insert the penis in the woman's vagina. Okay, so it keeps going and it talks about um, if they don't want a baby, then you talk about birth control and, uh, you know, like little, little soft touches, okay? And I do that a lot in my program where just kind of plant little seeds and this that's a great thing to do in a first like puberty book okay um some of the other things in here real quickly um i had a little touch also on gender identity it says um you know sometimes um when a baby's born um their genitals it's a boy it's a girl and you know most people um it fits and for some people it doesn't basically, right? It says that's transgender people describe themselves as being trapped in the wrong body. So there's a little touch on that, but it's not like all of it, right? So it's it's a good amount for the first conversation, right? So we don't overwhelm them with too much, right? All right, um, there's a little piece on sexual harassment, what's not okay, and if someone's targeted, um, making a baby, being careful not to, a little, little tiny tidbit on birth control how a couple of them work, the basic categories, where people get it, when it fails, avoiding STDs. It, it talks about some of the popular ones in here, actually lists them, going to the doctor, preventing them. So it talks about condoms, HIVs in here, how it's treated. Um, okay, the is this normal section is great too. So there's a, a lot of, um, this is like a Q and A section. Okay. So this is where people ask questions, probably anonymous questions, and they just printed them and then they put the answers in here. So for example, here's one. The doctor said, I'm probably going to be on the short side. He says I'm normal, but if that's true, then how come my dad is so upset? Is there anything that can make me taller? Okay. Um, my penis is crooked. When I get an erection, it bends to the left. Why isn't it straight? Like in all the pictures I see. Okay, so there's a lot of Q and A. There's several pages of that. Let me see, maybe like ten pages. Well, it's not so much. Um, and then there's a section on peer pressure and social pressures, and like they snuck a little bit here. And you know, like I said, it's really uh, simple, and it's not. It's nothing that's going to be a lot of skill building or anything, but it's a touch and a little seeds to kind of get this this conversation started and. That sort of thing. Um, the last section is what ifs. And um, these are like kind of some of the questions, the crazier, <laughs> there's some more questions in here. Or just seeing where it went. Uh, it was something about what if you get kicked in, in the testicles, right, in the balls, uh, was one of the questions. Oh, and there's something about the internet here too. I, um, I met this great girl on the internet, her family, is going to visit next month and she wants me to meet them at the zoo that's near my house so I could go right after school. But what if I don't like her when I meet her in person? Well, what if it's not a girl or it's not a girl that's 12, right? And it's someone else acting like that person. So this, there's little things in here too. Like if you were reading it as a family, you could um, have some great conversations um, afterwards about like what if scenarios like how would you handle things so this is a great a great well-rounded book and like I said it was it was published in 2017 but man it's still valid so if you're looking for something kind of basic and starter you have a child that's maybe a son that's maybe nine or ten um, kind of entering this you're seeing asking questions maybe seeing some changes um, definitely get it all right. Well, I hope that was helpful. Again, I'm Jen Alich. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.